Hi guys, recently I got a question, what is C-reactive protein? So I'm gonna do a little video on that and uh, exactly what to do about it, what causes it. It's basically an inflammatory marker in the blood. So it's a test that you can do to see how much inflammation is in the body through the blood, okay? Um, and there's obviously a protein that indicates that. So it's a better indicator of heart disease and vascular disease than cholesterol, way better because inflammation is a better indicator of the whole process. Okay, so that's what it is. Now, what, what do you do to actually get it under control? Well, you wanna ask yourself, why is it there in the first place? Why do you have inflammation in your, in your body, in your arteries? Well, the most important um, things are, are number seven, number eight down here, and that's basically uh, gluten, which is the protein in grains, can raise that. So you wanna get the grains out of the diet. And then insulin, of course, you probably already know that, but we have to lower insulin. I'll put a link down below if you don't know how to do that, but that's the sugar, and that's the frequent eating, the snacking. You have to get that under control because that is the biggest inflammatory uh, thing that's triggering that. So, but also nutrition-wise, vitamin C. Uh, vitamin C will lower C-reactive protein. Um, here's the thing with vitamin C. You wanna get your vitamin C from your vegetables, like seven to 10 cups. Um, that's the ideal scene. That provides you enough vitamin C to drop this. The people that have a lot of inflammation uh, don't consume enough vegetables, and they're doing a lot of like the wrong type of omega-3 oils. Okay, so that's what it is. Now, what do we do about it, okay? Um, I'm gonna first cover some of the nutrient things and then some nutrient things that are even more important. Number one, vitamin C. You wanna get your vitamin C from your vegetables, okay? This will lower C-reactive protein. Most people do not consume even close to the amount of vitamin C they need uh, from vegetables. So you need like at least seven cups minimally, ideally 10. So that's like two good salads or a salad and a vegetable each day. Um, you wanna get used to doing that. That will bring the inflammation right down because if you think about it, you gotta ask yourself, why do you have inflammation in the first place? You know, There's something that is not right in your body and uh, it's creating a problem in your arteries. Uh, curcumin is a uh, uh, turmeric, that uh, spice that you can consume. You can get it in a powder or a supplement uh, or use it on your foods, okay? So that's a very powerful way to lower C-reactive protein. And then stinging nettle root, that's an, uh, another plant that you, you can get in a supplement and you can actually use it to do a lot of things. But it's, a, it's one of the most powerful anti-inflammatories that I know. Uh, vitamin K2, uh, that will also help lower that. That also removes calcium into uh, the arteries, cleans out the arteries, the placking. And then fish oils, a high quality fish oil. If you're gonna get a fish oil, don't get one from the drugstore. Go to the health store and get something higher quality because a lot of times that is rancid, but a good um, cod liver oil is omega-3, it's anti-inflammatory. Okay. Coenzyme Q10 is also something you can take to lower C-reactive protein. And then um, lowering gluten from the wheat, all the breads, pasta, cereal, crackers that has gluten, that's highly inflammatory, that will raise that. And lastly, most importantly, is lower insulin, cut the sugar out of the diet, cut out the frequent snacking, that will lower that, and that's probably the biggest reason why people have high C-reactive protein in the first place that's involved in the, the clogging of the arteries. All right, thanks for watching. You know, I just wanted to take a moment out to thank you for your amazing feedback that you guys are giving me. It's just mind blowing. The successes, the wins. I created a link down below so you can actually type out your full success story. And if you have a before and after with weight loss, that would be awesome. And if you don't have a success with weight but other things, just put an image of yourself and your personal success story. And I would love to read it and also share it with others. So I wanna just thank you in advance for doing that, but there's a link down below, fill it out, and I can't wait to read it.